Alright guys, so we're going to get through, we're going to talk about this because uh, Star Citizen has gone live uh, to the wider PTU. Um, so if you guys weren't a part of Wave 1, go check your PTU. Um, you might be able to copy it over and get access to it. We are expecting this to go to a full release, uh, probably on the 10th of October. I think I want to say October. We're in October at the moment. Yeah, October. So the 10th would be the anniversary for Star Citizen. Um, so it makes sense to try and push to live for that. Um, there are a few bugs that are still available at the moment. But the vast majority of the gameplay is actually somewhat decent. There's a lot of bug fixes that have gone through. Um, there's a lot of things that have gone through that they've fixed, but there's still a few things they haven't. So let's break it all down. So obviously testing focus for this patch is Benue Defender, Caves, FPS Mining, Harvesting and Personal Infantries, ACT Crime Stat Restrictions, uh, Ship Rental Systems, haven't even checked that out yet, Vanguard Variants, The Good Doctor, Star Marine Map, haven't checked that out either, Proximity Assist and Manual VTOL, I've played around with that a bit, it's really cool, Pirate Swarm Updates, got to do that, New Ship Weapon, Kodosk FL Series, New FPS Weapon Attachments, New Character Customizer, which is really cool, and Mission Sharing and Mission Rewards and AI Service Beacons. Alright, so known issues, the quantum linking and spine jumping around a planet may teleport or may, or, or more of the player, may teleport or more of the players into a map origin or cause a crash. Okay, do not use quantum linking is, is basically what they're saying. The Mustang Gamma and Omega will overheat when starting the quantum drive. Uh, equip any of the new Kellogg weapons into a ship will negatively affect the ship's pitch and roll speed. Snoopy Cap appears in higher hairstyle options on the character customizer. The P-52 ship de uh, deception, uh, description contains placeholder text. In Star Marine, Delmer's comms en enemy indicators can sometimes be seen through walls. There is a chance a vehicle will be unresponsive after quantum travel. QRL5 is obstructed from most directions. That, that has been around for ages, that still. Uh, Demelin Demony uses the wrong audio dialogue when offering a mission. NPC beacons will sometimes display an incorrect distance. Players cannot complete Cornovis uh, down satellite counter mission after killing the opposing player when they're in a possession of the Kubiata Blade. The video feed for ATC is currently blank. All uh, AI ships travelling along a route will often get stuck. That's obviously something they need to fix. Attempting quantum travel to a destination from orbit to Arcorp or its moons may result in the player colliding with the surface. Kind of a big thing, guys. We need to get that fixed. Uh, ships can uh, spin extensively out of control when their wing is clipped. Landing illegally and uh, having your ship despawn while mission box inside will break mission progress. Players in the same ship may see the ship in different locations. There are large rectangular area missions from the surface of Daymar around one of the caves. I think that means there's a large area missing from around the caves of Daymar. Um, multiple scope crosshairs are off center when viewed in ADS. Players may crash while loading into the industrial hangar. Players may crash when changing their hair back to their original when character customizer. Ships may display if rented if the player exits the title while claim is in progress. The reforming distribution scattergun currently has a blue light texture issue. The default hair may represent under other hairstyles. So frequent updates, gameplay. Lawville and Area 18 will now restrict access to anyone with a crime stat higher than uh, one or higher. Port Alazar will now uh, warrant it a level up to three. So if you have a crime stat of three or more, Port Alazar is going to be out for you to land. It just refused to land you. And if you have one or more, Art Corp and Area 8, sorry, uh... Area 18 and Lawville will refuse you access as well. Set the arrival radius of the NPCs to become uh, beacons to become closer. 
Shipment vehicles adjusted the mass of the defender slightly. Bug fixes VoIP animations to currently play when the player isn't audio transmitting. Scanning using multi-tool should now work correctly after an instance recovery crash. Surface harvestables, uh, hub, uh, surface, surface harvestables should no longer overlap with rocks. Maintenance mission boxes should no longer vanish when dropped. Cruise control should, no, uh, should now hold the ship's speed when the pilot leaves the seat. Caves on Daymar Hurston should no longer fail to update their mission objectives upon arrival. Scavengeable items around cave corpses should no longer vanish when the mission ends. Pirate environmental spawns should no longer be flighting, fighting one another. NEC, uh, UEC amounts of the kiosk should no longer be cut off at higher numbers. Reverb after uh, a reverb effect should no longer be applied outside of caves. Uh, commodity names text should no longer be cut off the kiosks. And services, ships, uh, shopping claims, etc. should no longer deadlock and stop responding. They have fixed three server crashes and two client crashes. The big thing that's not mentioned here is they fixed, is they have fixed it so that when you go through and you jump, your quantum jump with a party, you no longer have a problem of crashing the game. That is a big thing. Um, that is not mentioned here as well. So that has been fixed. So if you're in a party now, you no need to no longer need to leave to go through and to do a quantum jump. So at the end of the day, it's actually a really good patch. Um, you probably can hear it in the background because I forgot to mute my TV. Uh, but Captain Burke at the moment is obviously playing it. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go check out his live stream. He's a really cool guy. Um, but yeah, uh, at the moment he's um, he's playing it and he's not having any real problems. I haven't had a chance to play it because I've been doing videos all day. Um, but yeah, hopefully I'm looking forward to getting into it today or tonight. Um, but guys, yeah, uh, big news. Obviously, yeah, they're looking to obviously push it to live. I'm expecting it in, on the 10th, which is about three days. Um, so that's when I expect it going out. 3.7 in general is a really good patch. Caves are freaking amazing. Uh, ship renting I haven't tried with yet. I want to try that. Um, but, you know, like Pirate Swarm updates looks really cool. Uh, the new Star Marine map looks obviously really, really cool. Uh, the weapon attachments are absolutely sick. Um, and, and like I say, mission sharing is great. Um, it, it is a really solid quality of life patches with extra game loops added as well to obviously help us tie us over until 3.8, which, let's face it, everybody's waiting for 3.8. Um, but yeah, 3.7 is a, a pretty good patch. Uh, but guys, let me know your thoughts are in the comment section below. What are you most looking forward to in 3.7? What is it the feature that you're most wanting? Or are you more waiting for 3.8? Let me know what your thoughts are in that comment section. If this video has been helpful, please smack that like button. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Apart from that, guys, we'll see you in the next demonetized video from YouTube. Have a great day and enjoy.